Everybody, welcome to Public News' podcast. I'm here with Forum Rank. I got Steven, Matthew, Ethan, Dylan, and Andrew. What's up, fellas? How we doing? How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm great. Hey, uh, hey, man, first of all, I want, I want to thank you guys, you know, for coming here, playing Miss Olsen's and sharing your talents, man. I really appreciate that, man. I just heard your set out there. You guys are great, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. So, hey, so go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. Let's start over here. Go ahead. I'm Dylan. I play bass. Andrew, guitar. Steven, drums. Matthew, guitar. Ethan, I make the mouth noises. <laughs> All right, so so how does form rank? Where, where did you guys? How did you guys meet? How did what you know? How the how did this group come together? Yeah. Uh, shit. Andrew, we were hanging out at old Stephen bass player's house yeah. and talked about starting a band. We uh we met at a anti no league show like oh, twenty yeah. years ago. That was it, but we never talked about doing a band then. No. That was when no, you, you did. You try showed to get... up for my old band and you tried to sing, but you got. <laughs> Real yeah, I lied up and said I was before. a singer. And then I you never panicked. sang before. <laughs> Panic. But uh, yeah, we noise. finally rekindled our relationship. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we put something together. I was never supposed to sing in this band until we got Matt playing guitar and he took my spot on guitar and then I got stuck singing. Didn't do, didn't do too bad, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, uh, it's, you know, it's not my first rodeo. Right, right. How long have you guys been together? Oh boy. Eight years? Like, seven years? Long, seven years? A lot longer than I want to say. Yeah, about seven years probably. Cool. So, uh, you know, people are going to see this live, you know, and then they're going to come back and see the interview. Where where can they find your music? You know, where, where what platforms are you guys on? Spotify, Bandcamp. All the regulars, Apple music, yeah. where, where, wherever you stream your music. All of them. Okay. Any in particular website they should check out or? Just Instagram, Spotify. Yeah, that's yeah. that's where we're, 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 we're buy anything the from us, rank, I guess right? Bandcamp, right? Yeah. If you looking for any merch, Bandcamp. Cool, cool. So you know, so people get to know you guys you know, a little bit better, and uh, you know, once they see your faces and shit. So I ask this question, you know, a lot of bands, you know, what what's your influence? You know, made, what made you want to pick up a guitar? What made you want to just be a part of a band? You know, what's your musical influence? So you know, I give each one of you guys a chance to. Sort of, you know, share that part of yourself with the with the audience. So go ahead, man. Uh, growing up, everybody I knew played drums or guitar, so bass seemed like it was needed. Yeah. <laughs> and so I picked that up, and it, it's actually worked out. I get I get picked up for bands because nobody plays bass anymore. Any particular anymore. sound you listen to, a kid? Like any artist that you watched or saw that made you want to? Uh, to pick up the bass, I was really into Matt Freeman from Rancid, Les Claypool from Primus. Love him. Uh, He's one of my favorite dudes of all time. Even weirder stuff like Stanley Clark, little jazzies, and yeah, it just it seemed like it fit. I was tall and lanky, and so was the bass. So <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen Primus probably 70, 70 plus times. Oh uh, yeah, that's. I love Les Claypool, man. He's incredible. Yeah, something to aspire to, but. Uh, I don't know any, anybody that can get to his level. So. Yeah, it's amazing to watch him, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, for me, it was just like the clash. Once I heard the clash, that just like, that was yeah. the year zero moment where it was like, all this other shit sucks. Everything yeah. I listened to before sucks. Um, How old are you? 35. 35. See, I'm 51, man. So I saw like, the first time I saw the clash was on MTV. You know, and it was always like hair band stuff. And then here came the clash with Rock the Casbah. I was like, Okay, like you said, you know, it's a changing moment. You know, it's sort of like when Nirvana took over the hair, the hair band scene. You know, they one song came out, I was like, finally something different. You know, and I listen to all that hair band shit, but yeah. Yeah, I was like that, and then just hearing like Blitz or even like Johnny Thunders, and I just anything I ate it up, okay. glam, punk, reggae, whatever it was. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Um, I started playing drums at 18, so I, I got into it kind of late. Um, when I was in high school, I thought like all the punks looked really cool and, and I wanted to be like them and a lot of them were in bands. I was like, uh, I'll play a guitar. No, I, I suck at that. Uh, I'll just hit something. And then uh, a couple of buddies of mine, they started uh, a, a psychobilly band and uh, they needed a, a drummer. So then uh, they were like, oh, try hitting the drums. I was like, okay. Oh, I'm actually good at this. And it, you know, it stuck from there. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty simple. Yeah, yeah it was just one two one two. Okay, now play it faster. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm playing drums. I'm playing punk drums now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Very cool. Uh, he's he's going to save some chicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even really know. Uh, I think a buddy of mine in junior high had a guitar, and um, I remember going to see the Beavis and the Butthead movie when it came out in theaters. The first, the Do America? One. Yeah, and uh, we dropped acid, and when we got back to his house, I picked up his guitar, and I like... I don't even know what I did, but it sounded like some Jimi Hendrix it. lick or something. And it was a drugs. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it definitely was. Definitely was. But uh, that kind of sparked it, I guess, in a way. But uh, I feel like um, in, in my generation, there wasn't really any guitar heroes like there was in like the '60s and '70s. So yeah. it made me feel like I could do it. What about Slash? So, nah. Um, and my skill level's about the same today, so that's it. <laughs> cool. Can I have that? Yep. I feel like talking into this. <laughs> but, well, that, that'll pick up your voice from all the way over there, so you don't want to double it up. Can I get them up. on both? Don't double it up? Yeah. It feels awkward. <laughs> no, that's that so far really away. Good. Yeah, it'll get you. Um, I started playing drums around 17 because I had a friend's band that was looking to, well, a friend that was starting a band, and they didn't have a drummer. So I was like, all right, I'll get a drum kit. I bought some beater drum kit from some girl down the street. And try to learn. They found a guy before I figured out how to play him. Started my own band, um, which played in the valley for years. And all these dummies probably had to see my band play then. I'm the old guy in the band. I guess you're close, but everybody I'm the else baby is in the band. Significantly younger, yeah. And then from there, I figured out how to play guitar because the band wrote not so great songs, so I needed to start writing songs. And then now I just sing because I don't have to haul equipment around and it's great very cool yeah i don't know why everyone isn't a singer <laughs> well cool man. hey uh, so guys check out forum rank they were badass you guys hey best of luck to you and you guys ever want to come back man i'd love to have you guys come back and play thank you very much appreciate it yeah thank, thank you, thank you. Thank for having us. hey forum rank you guys have a good one thanks a lot man appreciate you guys thank you thanks, man. peace thanks.